Well, what a Friday. It seems here in London as though the whole world is holding its breath, both literally and metaphorically. It's a grey, gloomy, rainy, cold Friday. And what a beginning to the year. All my life I have found solace in art. In fact, my whole life is for art. Um, paintings give me greater joy than pretty much anything. And today I found myself thinking about um, a wonderful artist that I have known for, oh, at least 15 years since she was an art student. And her name is Esther Neenhaus. And I first met her, I think it was about 2005. And there was something really wonderful about the way she talked about art. Um, and she wasn't even, actually, she didn't tell me she was an artist. And then about um, four years later, when she was a graduate, or just graduated from art school, she approached me and she showed me a painting. And she didn't tell me it was by her. And it was really wonderful. And I said, Esther, this is such a wonderful painting. Can you introduce me to the artist who did it? And very modestly, because she is incredibly modest, she said, it's me. And so in 2011, we had our first exhibition with Esther. And it's now 10 years that we have been working with her. And in the, those 10 years, it's been lovely to see her get married and to give birth to two wonderful sons. And now she is back really painting with the passion that she has always shown about her work. And the reason I was thinking about Esther today, on this horrible, gloomy Friday in London, was that um, she has always painted these really beautiful oil paintings on um, Belgian linen. And the title of this series is Saudada. Um, it's a Portuguese word. And the the meaning is very beautiful. It's very apt for how I think we all are now. It means um, a longing, um, a sense of sadness. So imagine it's um, you have just broken up in a relationship and you're driving along on a Sunday, it's raining, it's, um, your heart is breaking, there's a sad song on the radio, or you've just left a job, or indeed that you were in London on lockdown Friday, at the beginning of a very poor January. There is that, there's the, this pain, this heartbreaking pain. However, sodada means that the bittersweetness of life is what makes it so wonderful. And at the end, there is always a sense of life. And fast forward three years, you might think, well, gosh, if I hadn't broken up in that relationship, I wouldn't be with the person I'm now with. If I hadn't left that job, I wouldn't be doing the thing I love. Or if I hadn't gone to that country, I wouldn't be having the wonderful life I have. But at the time, when your heart is breaking and your soul is heavy, that's not much consolation. But Esther, who taught me the meaning of this word through her paintings, is so amazing because here you see a road and the road is curving and so Dada, you never know what is around the next corner and also in the horizon is a sense of light and so these paintings um here is another one i mean i find them incredibly beautiful to contemplate again you see um, this sense of grey, the trees etched against the greyness. My goodness, that looks like London today. I went to Regent's Park this morning and it was just like that. You could hardly see the trees through the grey. But always this sense of light in the horizon. Go on and you will find, find light. And Esther once told me, which I thought was amazing, that she would spend up to six weeks painting one raindrop. And at first I thought that's very, very far-fetched, but you know what? She's right. On the William Blake principle of to hold the whole world in a grain of sand, when I look at Esther's raindrops, I do feel um, in touch with 
the wonder of the world with all its sadness, all its greyness and all its brightness. Anyway, I hope um, tomorrow is not such a gloomy day and always remember Sodala. So